herb that is this uh, Camphoria galangal, also called Rasna. It's an ingredient in the organic chavan prash. And uh, I have intercultivated with the Central Asiatica here. And again, this is the, I am now in the Western Ghats and very moist region with about uh, 200 centimeters of rain per year. 200, huh? 150 centimeters a year about average and this year we hardly got a 10% of the 10-15% of the rain. Now also I will show some uh, tulsi, how to raise the tulsi seedlings. Now take a sack like this, fill it up with uh, compost, a curry and then uh, sprinkle the tulsi seeds, they are very tiny seeds and uh, it needs to be exposed to direct sunlight otherwise uh, the sprouting won't happen. Seeds need to feel the sunlight on the surface. So put it in an exposed area with a soil that is quite loose and nice like this, like this and then sprinkle the seeds on top and then uh, put it out in the sun. You will get thousands and thousands of seedlings and then start picking out the biggest ones first. Like this now. At this size, that is one, two, three sets of leaves, it can be planted anywhere and it will grow. Like, this is how I plant uh, in my primitive. So, that's planted. Now, one more rainfall and she will start growing. So, that's how this uh, Krishna Tulsi and then all the various tulsis, that is Osimum uh, Sanctum, is grown. This herb is very good for preventing chicken, gunya and dengue, all kind of fevers. If we, one has a few couple of leaves in the tea or something once every few days, you will never get that chicken, gunya or all those fevers. Particularly in that rainy season and when these, uh, mos these kind of diseases start coming up, Grow a couple of these tulsi and then you can pluck a couple of leaves like this and add it into your tea. Also it's a good luck, it's considered as a symbol of goddess Lakshmi and having this uh, plant in the garden ensures uh, prosperity for the family. That's another video for today.